Wow, we nearly didn't make it, but I'm here. I'm here. How are we doing? Dear, oh dear, that was a bit of a rush, to be fair. That was more than a bit of a rush. And I am a couple minutes late, actually. Five minutes late. Unforgivable. Unforgivable. It is so hot here, though, at the moment. It's absolutely baking. So well, I've been out sunning myself with the Mrs. Cruncher. So there you go. Let's just uh, get back to my uh, chat. How are we doing? <laughs> Ooh, you see, a bit, the hair's a bit, um, a bit squiffy, but there you go. Hopefully we're all in. We're all in. Well, it's loads of people. So I, I had to do it a little bit later today, to be fair, because... Um, End of the day, it's mega hot here, so I thought if I leave it a little bit later, it'll be a bit cooler. But that's not the case, because literally we had cloud cover all, all morning until literally half an hour ago. And now it's absolutely baking, so uh, we'll see how we get on. We'll see how we get on. But um, I've, got, I've got to continue with this um, hacker record deck. And, and the reason for that, I mean... I, I just looked, it was April 2019 that I last looked at this record deck. And um, my intention was to stick it down with, um, on the sideboard with my record collection and carry on and use it pretty much all the time because it's got a record stacker on it. But um, that never happened for some reason, I do not know. But um, there you go. Today we're going to um, get to the grips with it and get it all, all absolutely finished, hopefully. Hopefully, that's the plan. So we've got quite a few in. I've got no beer under, under the way at the moment, but um, let's have a look who we've got in. We've got uh, GNU, GNU Ninja. I wonder how many of those sets were actually exported to Venice and used by your average gondolier. <laughs> hi, Theo. Simon, hi, Simon. Michael Hyde, hello, Michael. Benji's in there. We've got some Volve activity going on today, let's see. That's what, that's what attracted you all. Theo Benji Cyberflyer. Afternoon Cyberflyer. It's absolutely baking here. I'm, I'm absolutely dripping. So uh, apologies for that. There may be some blue roll coming out from time to time. Afternoon Rob, Gary, Nick Petronics. Not as hot as yesterday. It is here. It's hotter here today, Nick, than it was yesterday by a long shot. What's my temperature gauge? Well, it's saying 24, but it's 26 out there, I believe, at the moment. I believe it's 26. Who else we got? And then, uh, so Doug's in. Hi, Doug. How are you? 26 there as well. 30 later. Andy Beck. Hi, Andy. Phil Taylor. Afternoon, Phil. Dave Malik. Derek Taffman. Dave Roberts, hi David. Mac Macomp. Macomp. Afternoon, Macomp. And welcome to the channel. I've not seen you before. Michael Hyde, hello Michael. F Paul Collins, hi Paul. There you go, Paul. Volves at last. Look. At last we've talking Volves. Some cloud there, Benji, is it? Hi Jess, how are you? No way, Jess. Jess has said COVID. Been in hospital. Oh my God, Jess. What can I say, Jess? What can I say? I'll, I'm, it's my first viewer that I've had that's had COVID. So Jess, I'm really sorry that you've had that, mate. Sounds like you're on the mend though, which is uh, good news. Flipping act. Paul's very kindly sent me some schematics for today's project. 32 degrees for Michael. Whoa. Hmm. There we are. I think I'm, I'm all caught up with all the chat at the moment. So um, today's plan is to get, get this gondolier finished and get some Greek music going on it. What do you think? Do you think we'll have a, a bit of bit of a Greek session? I've been on the Pims. I warn you, I've been on the Pims today, and I've got some beer coming up. But yeah, tis volves, tis volves, Paul. 
So I've been on the PIMS and um, I'm going to have to go down and get some beers in a minute. But um, basically the um, object of today is to get this um, little beauty finished. Now, to be honest, April 2019. April 2019 was the last time I looked at this radio, which is not radio, record player, which is pretty shocking, to be honest. And uh, I really, really wanted this one to be up and running. And um, I think we've done everything to it. We've recapped the amplifier. We've, we've done everything. We've serviced the record deck. The only thing we haven't done is the, um, the filter caps on the mains input. So I'm hoping to God that I've got them here and now to do. Because if I have it, it's going to be a really short live stream. <laughs> I'm still sweating buckets here. It is really hot. So just looking at, at my work, and I've done it, I've got to say myself, I've done a really nice job on this. I've actually done a really, really nice job on this. So let's get the um, overhead camera in the situation, and uh, we'll see, see what job I've done on it. As I say, some of you will be new to the channel, you won't have, um, you won't be aware. Overhead cam, why is my overhead cam not working? Overhead camera's not working. Why are you not working over a camera? Because your power's not on. Oh dear. Let's try again then. I'm absolutely leaking here, people, because it's okay. So, it's the inside of this record deck. So you can see that all of these caps I've done. It's a really high quality deck. There's um, these mustard apps, which are literally, they, there's no way I'm going to touch those unless absolutely necessary. I've replaced the high voltage caps here. The only one I haven't done is this one over here, which you can't quite see. Let's just uh, angle that out. This one here. That's the only one left to do. That one's left to do, and I've got to service the um, tone controls. Stick a deck back in, and then we can get some Zorba on. What do you think? The Zorba. Yeah, there you go. So that's the plan. So you can, you can see what the work I've done on it. And to be fair, I'm looking at this and thinking, Graham, you've done, actually done a nice job on that. So I've replaced two resistors there as well, like you can see. Let's get something to point with. So that resistor there and that one have both been changed. You can see the new electrolytics. Um, I've got some other cap. I don't know whether I've done these or not. I mean, it's so long ago that I did this, but um, to be fair, I've done a me mega neat job on that. You can see I've replaced this cap 15 microfarads at some um, 400 volts. That's been done. But like I say, the, the one that I haven't done is the smoothing cap over here. And it did work, though, to be fair. So, I mean, that's not essential, but I do need to get this done because this is going to sit downstairs in my retro, my retro, not hi fi, but retro um, record and tape section, basically. I've got, I've got my own hi fi, I've got quite a nice hi fi down there, but I, this I want to be able to play loads of that actual um like singles stack them all up and i have managed to get the stacking thing and th this was what was missing from it originally and i paid a lot of money for this but um to be fair that's well worth it i'm happy i would have spent i would have spent a fortune on that because my memories as a kid of records and all the rest of it was um stacking them all up and um letting, letting the record record deck select each one one after the other and it, it's a pain in the ass um putting singles on and um putting singles on and uh having to keep changing all the time it's a real real labor of lovely so th this I, I can't remember how many i can stack on this at one time I don't suppose I can stack too many on it, but a damn sight more than I can by putting one on at a time. So that's uh, that's the plan: is to get this serviced, 
I've, I've serviced the record deck already, but I'm not 100% sure that um, that is working correctly because I never had this mechanism. So the plan is today is to get get the um, get this cap over here done. And I think, shall I leave this in and just put a tag strip on there? I'm going to have to have a think about that. This this is a nice cap. It's a shame it, to get rid of that, to be fair, but um, all to be done. All to be done. So if, if you've um, watched the last video, you'll know that this is actually 100% working. But to one thing I did do, and if I come up here, inside here is the output valves and uh, i did pinch one out of andy's um andy's andy beck's player what the hell's going on here i did pinch one out of his uh, uh valve tape decks so uh, <laughs> kindly enough simon sent me a new one so i've got a new output valve to go in here i can pull andy's back out and put simon's back in so I need to get this board back out, basically. This has got to come right back out. I've got to do the two two caps in here. I think there's two in there. Assuming I've got them now. I've bought a lot of caps since this. I just hope to God that I've actually got them. And I'm not 100% sure till I've actually looked at my... Uh, the service info that Paul has very kindly sent me. So there, there you go. Uh, did, did, did uh, stick stack them up and watch them all drop together? I hope not, Derek. I hope not. Hi, hi, um, Chris. How are you? Yeah, all the best for Jess. I really hope Jess that you get well soon. So supermarket, Jess, was it? Oh dear, oh dear, dear, oh dear. Right, let me um, get rid of my picture. Because I'm going to quickly go down and get myself some um, refreshments because I'm absolutely baking here. And um, let's get that back out a bit. Let's zoom in, let's zoom out. That's as far as it'll go. So we are. Bear with me, I'll, I'll be back.
Okay, I'm coming back up with the beer. I've got four, four bottles here. All good stuff. Provided by Mrs. Cruncher. Mrs. Cruncher shopping.com. <laughs> oh dear. So I've got some, um, I've got some CB stuff to look at as well, but um, we'll see how we get on with this first. This is, um, this is most important today. Most important today. Yeah, Nick, it's, um, I've done a nice job on that, really, to be fair. I've done a really nice job on that. And, and I did review the video at lunchtime, and uh, the, the, the video for this originally was over eight hours long. So one of my marathon videos. So there you go. Harvey, how you doing? Yeah, really sorry, Jess. Really, really sorry you've had that, mate. I mean, you're the first person that I know that I actually know that's actually had it. So um, there we are. So as I say, this is a bit of a bit of a state at the moment. You can see the um, tone control is um, flying around in the wind here. We've got the the little baffle cover for the for the speaker. Put that to one side. It's so hot up here today. I thought it was going to cool down later. This is the old. Um, I really don't know where the hell this came from, but this is the old record selector thing that was jammed in it to start with. I don't know that. That's obviously from something else. Total waste of time. So I've managed to pinch some um, knobs as well off of my other um, hacker because I've got another one of these actually up in the loft. So I've got two of these gondoliers. This one is the one that I've done all the work on. You can see from the tone control there, hopefully, if I, if I move the camera around a bit, that uh, the top one is actually broken. Hopefully I can get that off. And we've got one of the brights missing off of, off of the bottom one. So uh, I pinched, pinched the ones off of the other, other uh, deck and uh, hopefully we can get that, um, that sorted. But this one is repairable. I can I can um, take that off and uh, put a bit of a carbon filler inside of it, and we can repair that one. So all is not lost. Um, as far as the tone controls, I think this worked okay. But from memory, I just needed to squirt the uh, switches because the switches were a bit scratchy. So you need to put a bit of switch cleaner in those, and that's uh, that's that done. So, uh, as I say, we did, we did pinch Andy's um, output valve, and Simon and um, Simon and Gary both sent sent me what well, Simon sent me an output valve, and Gary also sent me one. Well, I actually went and picked one up from Gary. And Gary, I will be in in the week, guaranteed, mate. I'm coming. I'm coming, Gary. Don't worry, I'll be there. Uh, warm there. God, I tell you, it's absolutely baking. We got storms, storms um, here. To be fair, right. I need to get a beer underway. I need lubrication. I need the lube in. I need lube. I need lube. Let's get down and. Um, Sort some beer out. It's, it's a little bit. Um, it's a bit crowded. This is the problem. I've, I've only got a very, very small desk, and um, there's not a lot of breathing room up here when you've got something huge like this on here. So we've got the we've got the bishop's tipple again. Bishop's tipple, or we've got Exmoor stag. No, I like that one. Exmoor stag, local beer. Oh, that's one I've not had for a long time. Directors, courage directors. Nice beer. And what's the last one? The last one is um, 
1698 by Shepard Neem. Good job. Yeah, gonna gonna get in and see you in the week, Gary. Let's have a chat about what to do with this um, limbing uh, record uh, amplifier. We've got to get that sorted for you, mate. I, I might just bring it back and we'll go for it at yours. At least then you've got it. We can make a space for it and um, see if we can get underway. So I'm going to go with the Xbox stag because I've decided that myself. Good stuff. I'll tell you what, it's even too, too hot for beer today. Hi Keith, how are you? Hi Aston. It's definitely hot, Aston is mental in here. It's really so hot. I've got all the windows open and there's absolutely no breeze, nothing. It's, it's just so hot. It's going to be cooler next week. Let's hope so, Benji. But then you can't complain. Come, come on, end of the day. If it's too cold, we want it hotter. If it's too hot, we want it colder. If it's snowing, we want it sun. Oh, British weather, eh? So, um, there's lots of... I've got loads of things in bits here. Not, to be fair, I can't remember how it goes back together. But Paul has very kindly sent me the um, service manual. Afternoon, Brett. How are you? So, we need to get this, um, let's go over to the overhead camera again. We need to get this, this board out. So that's, that's the plan. Is to get this board out. So let me get rid of me. And let's get this board out. Um, and get these caps. Well, saying that, I need to make sure, first of all, that I've got the caps to do that. So let's find, um, Paul has very kindly sent me the instructions. So let me just quickly get to um, Paul's post. If I can find it, I'll tell you what, this is it's a bit of a nightmare. This computer's there. <laughs> Where's Facebook? Come on. Hmm. For some reason, it ain't showing up. We're getting there. So I have got the original service manual for this, but I haven't got it scanned. And Paul has very kindly um, sent me a scanned version, hopefully. And Paul is the man for schematics. He is Mr. Schematic. Well, he's actually sent me three. <laughs> Which one is it? Which one is it? Have a look. This is the one. So hopefully you're with me now on the screen. So this is the deck, GP42, gondolier, hacker, lovely, lovely bit of kit, old mono record deck from the 60s, I would think. 67, look, that is printed in 67. Seven watts ample power reserve. Ten by six loudspeaker speaker with fifteen ohms voice coil. SP twenty five. I think it is the 
I think we've got the SP25 in this one. I'll have a look in a minute, but the deck's in the other room. I think we have serviced the deck, though. So uh, the deck, the deck, as far as I know, the deck is serviced. So two ECL 86, and that was the one we had the problem with, because if you look at, back at the old video, and I will post a link to the old video in the description underneath. I haven't done that yet. To be fair, I've been a bit slack today. So that's, that's to come. But uh, you'll see that um, when, when I originally took this apart, the old valve had gone to air. It was very cloudy. There was no getter on it. There's no silver inside it. So... Um, as I say, um, I pinched one out of <laughs> one out of Andy's um, tape deck, which is still to be done. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it, but it's still there to be done. I will get to it, Andy. Don't you worry. And we've got an EZ80, which is a rectifier. The rectifier is working, so there's no issues with that. And we've got a bit of a mix and match on the output valves. So uh, what we'll do is we'll pinch Andy's back out and we'll stick either Simon's or Gary's back in there. So we, the pickup ACOS, I think, again, we did mess about with the pickup last time on this one. Um, and I can't remember, remember which one we got in, but I know it did play. We actually played 78s, 45s, and we played the LPs as well on it. So it does work. Let's keep going down through. Uh, yeah, single player. See, so it says the Garrod SP25 single player is fitted with a device for automatically lowering up the pickup onto the record. But the Garrod 3000 Changer 4 speed selects 7, 10, or 12 inch diameter records. So I, I'm wondering whether I, I mean, I've got, I'm pretty sure I've got the Garrod SP25 in this one. So maybe my record changer won't actually work with that deck. There's, there's um, a dilemma. So I hope that's not the case, but I think reading that, that actually might be. So any of you record deck um, people that know what that means, then um, let me know. So... So read down through that circuit description. So apparently we've got a, a, a control on the back of the radio to select Stereo output, external speaker output. So we've got some, some chat plugs on the back. And I, I haven't got the stereo thing for this. I would like, to be fair, it would be great to have the stereo, the second speaker that goes with this. Uh, and I've seen them. They're, they're ridiculous money, to be fair. Really expensive. So if anybody's got the matching um, unit for this with the extra speaker in it and the other amplifier, then let me know. Okay, installation. Removing the units, amplifier units. So some test voltages. Mains into four five. We can do two four five. As I say, what I want is this, this record deck to sit down downstairs, and I can play all my singles on it. But I've got a horrible feeling that that ain't going to be the case, which would be a real shame.
this default. We haven't got any faults, hopefully. List of components and prices. <laughs> I wonder if we can get these today. Put those figures in. Look at the suppliers. Mallard, HR, AB Metal, Erie, Hunts, Dally, Lemco, TCC. Goodman's speaker. Yeah, that's a cracking speaker in this one, I must admit. Stylus. ACOS. These are very difficult difficult to get now. I mean, end of the day, yeah, you can't get those. Thirty-five. What is that? Is that um, pounds and shillings? I don't know. Okay. So this is um, this is the cap that we haven't done. Is this one here? Fifty plus fifty microfarad. And oh, have I got forty-seven microfarads here? I bet I blew an oven. Oh, Graham, come on! You must have. 4.7, 33s. Oh, I bet I haven't got those. That's the only thing that's left to do is that one there, C11 and C12. I can't believe that I won't have. I haven't got those. To be fair, if I haven't got those two caps in stock, and it's going to be 47 microfarads because 50 50 microfarads are not not available these days. I haven't got those two caps, then um, this is a uh, uh, no goer. So here's a schematic for it. Um, get off. Off. So the, these are done. C8, C16. Let's get rid of my picture. So C11 and C12 that I haven't done. That leads into V3, which I think, it, is that a right to fire or not? Yeah, that's the output valve there, one A and B. That's the rectifier. So um, this is this is the ones that I need to do, C11 and C12. So we need to see if I've got those those values, to be fair. I, th I thought I ordered them in, to be honest, but looking at my stock here, I actually can't see that. I've got 10 microfarad, 16, 22, 33, but I can't see any 47 at... 240 volts. So thank you very much for sending that on, Paul. Much appreciated, mate. Much appreciated. If anyone wants to see the full circuit, there it is. So um, let me go back to um, the main camera. And we'll catch up with a chat. So let me um, just catch up with a chat and then we'll, we'll make a start then. Oh no, that's the wrong. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Definitely storms, storms forecast for tomorrow, Harvey. Apparently we've got some bad storms coming in tomorrow in the southwest anyway, so uh, not going to be good. 37 degrees in London, what in the world is going on with the UK? I don't know, Doug, who knows? you got a hot cuppa. Huh? Oh, you don't want to get a hot cup, you want a cold cider, ideally, Theo. Cider is good in, in, in the hot weather, I must admit. 
anything but snow. You hate snow. I love the snow. It's great. The dogs love the snow. We love the snow down here in the southwest. You plan on going out walking with a two meter rig, Chris? I did see you've popped a video up, so there's a new video out from Chris there, people. I'm not sure what it is yet, but I've just seen a notification come up for it, so uh, I'm sure it'd be a good one. But no, storms tomorrow, Chris, here. D down southwest, anyway. I'm not sure what's luck up here. Up your way. Just let me catch up. Snow is a joke. The problem we've got with snow, snow, um, to be fair, um, Harvey, is, is we, we're never prepared, prepared for the snow. We know it's going to come. And we always come foul of it because we're not prepared. You got power surge? Yeah, definitely. There are storms tomorrow. You thought mine was a Garrod 3500. Afternoon, Paul. Thank you for the schematics. Let me um. Let me um go and see my record deck. Then let me tell you what it actually is. You you may be right, Rob. You may be right, but it is in the other room. I've got two two rooms of rubbish here. So look what the record deck is. It is. Oh, hang on. No. It's a Garrard 2025TC. It's a Garrard 2025TC. And we did service this. I did service this when I did the previous video. So um, it might be that this one does do it. But the instructions say different, don't they? 2025TC. As long as it plays Zorba the Greek, it'll be fine. <laughs> that means we're going to get some copyright hits, but we don't want copyright hits, do we? So it's a 2025TC, um, Rob. So let me get with the rest of the... Um, the rest of the comments oh, this is loads of comments going on here i'm trying to catch up at the moment so bear with me your wife left your toys in the house what do you mean you've got radios indoors now chris whoa amazing hi colin how are you hang on Proper money, pounds and shillings. Mid to late 60s. Yeah, well, I think it says 67, doesn't it, on the um, data sheet there on, on the schematics. You sent me a boatload of 47 UFs a while back, did you, Paul? And they're high voltage ones, Paul? Because I will have them here. It is drawn nicely. Hi, Richard, how are you? Down in, hot down in Maidstone, that's in Kent. 110 Fahrenheit in the, Fahrenheit in the sun even. Fahrenheit? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, we ordered. Hi Bob, how are you? Bob, 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 four G's. Chris is up in the hills with Chinese radios. He did more on his video than you have done in the, on this so far. Bob, the, the, the night is young. <laughs> Morning dog. Ah. 
So Chris has sent his video, video was a bit of a cock up. He lost all the audio because of the wind noise. Yeah, it's a trouble, isn't it? When you're up on the hills, you, you can't you can't get away from that, really. So that's an auto deck as well, Rob. Brilliant, excellent, excellent. Right, okay. Let's get going because um, it's going to be it's going to take forever, else. And like I say. Some um, it's valve, it's mains. So at the end of the day, if you're not used on working to, working with this stuff, don't touch it. Let's um find out first of all if I've got any 47 microfarad. Paul says he sent me some, but I don't know um if they're um high voltage or not. So definitely here I'm looking at my um stock. And most of my high voltage caps are in here. 33 is the highest, but I need 250s or 247s at 400 volts. So um, bear with me. Let me have a look to see if I've got um, any higher voltage ones up here in my, in my overflow stock. So, 47 at um, 100 volts, that ain't no good. Next lot. Say 300. Oh no, that's a no. What are these? That's 10 at 10. Chongs, I've got some chongs there, what are they? No, 2200. That's a no. Next. Nope. We're running out of options here. We're running out of options fast. Uh, it's not the axials. It's not been the axials. It's got to be 56 400s. Ooh. 47160s. I got 56, and that's not a million miles away, is it? To be fair, to be fair, that is not a million miles away. That is all the caps I got. I think, I think we're in business. I think we're in business with the, um, you can't see that's blown it out, the 56 microfarad at 400 volts. That's good enough. I'm pretty sure that is good enough. The only 47s I've got are 160, so Paul, Paul, if you've sent them to me, I haven't got them, mate. I don't know what's going on with that then. So we've got two fifty sixes, and they're not far off, are they? And they they will fit inside that can. So that's uh, maybe what I was thinking. They're long and thin. Um, I'm just trying to think, Paul. I've, I have got some other stock of caps. I'm surprised I haven't got any 50, uh, 47s, to be fair. There's one other place I can look. One other place. So that's the... Um, 56 microfarads at 400 volts, which, which will more than do it. Rubicons, so they're good quality caps. But I'm just going to quickly check my last port of call here. 
if I can get it out. God, ah, God dear, oh dear. I need, I need to grow about three inches, I think. No. Oh, hang on. What's that? What's that? Hang on. I've got some more. What are these? What are these? Okay, no, they're, they're 33s. I thought we got lucky then. They're 33s. Why have I got any 47s at high cap, at high, high value? I'm surprised at that, to be honest. But anyway, the 56s will do the job. So, now, now we've got the dilemma. Do we, do we just rip this apart, put a tag strip in, and say sort it, or do we restuff this? Do, do we restuff? Do we restuff this little one here? Let's go in a little bit closer. Oh, hello! Way too close. Okay. So, do we restuff this one? Let's just focus that a minute. Let's just get the um, feel the buttons because I can't see them. There we go. So, do we restuff this, or do we just get rid of it and put new ones in? I think it'd be nice to restuff it, really, because I think both of those will easily fit inside that easily. To be honest, I've absolutely ripped this apart, am I? Okay. Restuff or scrap it and start again. I don't know, it'd be not. I don't know. What's the verdict? What's the verdict? Restuff or not to restuff or not to restuff? That is the question. Garrard service data. I think we've already done the Garrard um, service in Paul. I think we've done that on the last video. That is serviced up to hell. Fifty six is fine. You can use another three inches, Brett, ideal. Nice layout, you've got to love tag strips. Yeah, we could do tag strips. Oh, I did say hello, uh thirteen HN five one six. One three hotel November five one six, no doubt. Stuff it for Paul. The caps are in the power supply. Yes, they definitely are. Restuff. You like watching me work harder. Boat filter hit port. Theo, you could be dead right. Little hot glue. You know you want to stuff it. Stuff, 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 stuff. Cal, you gotta love. You just love making me work hard, don't you? Okay. Shall we take this out and have a look anyway? Let's take it out. Um, so I've got screws and all sorts of floating around everywhere inside this thing. Literally all floating around everywhere. I'll say I'm really, really looking forward to getting this record deck downstairs and working because... Um, I mentioned it to Mrs. Cruncher earlier, and she said that she remembered her, her grandparents, um, every one of these, very similar, that played the multiple 
multiple singles flipping thing and uh it's always this this nostalgia business i keep going on about nostalgia but it is it's correct isn't it nostalgia is where it is people And we're going to love love a bit of Zorba later on <laughs> in very short bursts. <laughs> so it's hopefully to avoid the copyright police. Right. Now let me think. We'll pull that one out of there. There. That one over there. And that should from the mains cable, which is in there. Bear with me. We're like mega, mega zoomed in now. So there's a little cable attachment in there. What is, the, what is that? How are you attached? I can't even see how that is attached. Okay, got a little screw in there. Let's get this out. There we go. Right, let's pop that out. We can pop this. Um, the chassis out of the way, the, the case out of the way for a minute because it is massive. It's absolutely taken up all of my bench. It's literally taken up everything. I can't move here. Whew. And it's flipping hot still. Ah. There we are. Hot damn. He's only gone and done it. Right, bear with me.
Okay, cool. It smells like someone's having a barbecue out there. We're on barbecue for tea tonight, so uh, hopefully, uh, well, hopefully we'll have barbecue for tea. So what you're looking at is the um, chassis, and if I turn it around this way, you can see we've got some volvage. Look at you volve lovers, you're loving it. Oh, hello, here we go. So I can't remember which one is which now. So we've got two ECL86s. And this is the EZ80 rectifier. And we've got our two fuses. And we've got our um, mains transformer, which is set in the two, two, 240, 250 volt um, position. Bits of foam rubber are in good condition. This is in really good nick, this is. So this is our, t our um, object of interest down here. Now, this, this does work. It's a shame to change it, really, but I'm going to. Hi, Andy, how are you? Hi, Sime. Yeah, Doug, I knew there was loose hardware there, so um, that's why I took this board out, really. So let's see if we can stuff this. How are we going to do this? Um, I don't know. Obviously, we've got um, we've got a, we've got um, a ground connection, which is probably this one with the black wire, and we've got our two positive connections. One is yellow, one is one is pink. So I think this this is the ground, and this is the um, two outputs here. So is this again the correct size? It's, um, because literally, I mean, you can see it. You can see all the work that I've done on this pre previous. You can see, see that um, down here. So all the caps I've replaced. I've gone through all the resistors. We've checked all those. So there's one there. What's that? Um, 450 volt, 8.2 microfarads. And this one's 15 microfarads at 400 volts. And all the other low value caps at, at electrolytics are done. And the resistors are done. Anything that was out of spec has been done. I mean, I did spend a lot of time on this, to be fair. And uh, as I say, we have um, pinched an, an output valve from Andy's tape player. But I don't know which one it is, to be fair. I will do if I play the video back. So, um, as I say, Simon and, um, and Gary did sort me out one of those. So get this one out. Some... Take that out with that. Yeah, there we go. So, Dali R50, Y50, UF, 350 volts, DC, WK6, 17, 7510. It, it makes absolutely no sense, the markings on that at all. Um, I don't know if anybody can make any sense out of those markings, but I'll, I'll put it on the overhead camera just in case you do understand what the hell this all means. Afternoon, Barry. Uh, Doug, I know what you're saying, Doug, about using the Heathkit cap checker, but I think, we, I, I don't know whether we did this last time or not, but I did, it does work. And um, I think it was just a case of, this was the last, um, the, the last piece in the chain, really, to, to get this done, to make sure it's like future-proofed. Although it, it may well work. It may be fine, but um, according to the service data, it's 250 uh, microfarad. At 350 volts. So I think what we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to cut this. We've got all these razor saws. Um, 
that's difficult. I'm going to have to try and somehow tack this all together so as I know exactly what goes where. Let's first of all take a photo of it. If I've got my camera, have I got my phone here? No, I haven't. Just let me go down and get my phone and I'm just going to take a picture of what wires go where at the moment. Although we can see it in the video, it's difficult for me to play that back. And I need another beer as well. So let me get my phone a minute. I can find my phone. There's my phone on the floor. Let's see what Mrs. Cruncher's up to. Mrs. Cruncher's out sun and herself. You alright, Car? She's asleep. <laughs> Mrs. Cruncher is asleep in the sunshine. That ain't a good idea, to be fair. She's gonna suffer. So we'll give her half an hour and I'm gonna go and wake her up. So we do not want a burnt Mrs. Cruncher, do we? So I have got my phone. Let's come back and take a quick picture of this uh, wiring so as I know exactly what goes where. So, I think they've updated the software on this thing and it's a nightmare to try and find where you're, how you are now. Here we go. So that one goes to there and those two wires join together. That's purely because I've got uh, the memory of a, a macro, basically. So that has got to be the ground. Yeah, okay. So let's get a snippety snip snip. Let's do a bit of snippy, snippy snip snip on it. And rip it out. Rip the guts out of him. What were we saying? Should pull the valves out whilst flipping the chassis about. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. To be fair, they're they're pretty robust. They've got spring clips in them. They, they've they um, got spring clips in them. That's not what you're saying, but they have got these spring clips in them, so they can't move about, to be fair. It's not like they're just floating around. They're, they are clipped in. So they're going absolutely nowhere. Yeah. Benji. Benji asking again what's going on. No, Benji, we're still in business, mate. So this is the boy in question. This is all we've got left to do on this, this radio, really. So you've got the negative. Um, and what do I do with those caps? What, what the hell have I done with those? Have I left them inside the chassis? Graham, sort yourself out. Come on. Dear, oh dear. I better left these inside the chassis. My 256 microfarad caps. Yes, I did. There they are. There we go. Right. So here's our two replacements that easily, easily fit inside there. So, um... We've got one there. Let's just get the ESR meter in. Just have a little look, see. Just short my make sure we're nothing. No voltage left, which is unlikely because it's literally been a, this has been a year, it's been a year coming this has. So let's connect to the ground. So 
So that says... Okay. 72 microfarads. 0.6, that one. And let's check the other side. Seventy-six. So they're both a fair way out. ESR is not that high, so you know it did work. As I say, it did work. But um, this is one of the things that I just needed to do for peace of mind, really. So we know that's the negative, no problem. So we've got one connection to one there. And these two go together. So let's um, just twist them together for now. So we know they, they go together. We know that's the other one. That's the um, negative. And we've got this whacking great um, resistor in between. So let's... Um, Let's disconnect that resistor. Hopefully this one's in intolerance, to be fair. I haven't checked yet. So that's between the two, um, two supplies. So let's pop the LCR meter on that one. saying 219.5 219.5 let me uh, let me have a look at the schematic hi mike how are you mike atlantis good to see you in mate oh 21 200 ohms what did i say it was 220 so that's got a bit high it's gone 20 ohms high, but it's quite a lumpy capacitor, that, isn't it? A resistor, even. Capacitor? <laughs> so we're looking at this one here, look, R21, 200 ohms. there and there's supposed to be 50 and 50 microfarads but it's obviously is is high 76 and 76 so we need to get that done um it's 200 ohm resistor and that looks quite high value as well um let's have a quick look where are we See if we've got a pass list on this. I don't know if we've got a pass list on this or not. Was it um R21? No, we haven't, but it is a lumpy, a lumpy um, resistor there, huh? Ah, do we leave it? Do we leave it or do we um do we carry on? Do we leave it or do we carry on? Two twenty. It's probably just just sneaking in. Just sneaking in into torrents. I don't know. Anyway. Let's pop one off. And 
and let's see if we can get this one apart because it would be really nice to, to, to keep this. Um, try and keep this, this one here and try and tag the wires on the back and restuff it. So let's try a bit of restuffing. Let's do a bit of restuffage. So I'm going to need to go to the other room and just get one, a razor saw and a mitre block a minute, and we'll see if we can um, cut this open. I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that I can actually do this. I've never done it before. I've never restuffed one of these. I've just normally done a tag strip and then just pop them on, but um, there is a possibility that we can, we can restuff it. We have the technology. We have the hot glue gun. We have razor saws. Razor, razor saw. Hello, the cap's gone walkabout. Okay, so. Don't need a mental depth of cut, really. Now these are razor saws, these are, I can't remember the make of these now, but um, basically if you search for razor saw, you, you, you will find these. I got these off Amazon, I believe. And uh, I blame Mr. Andrew Alsfer for this because uh, he is a razor saw master. I'm only a second Dan razor saw master. So still going. through yet but um we are almost there make sure I don't cut through my finger And this little micro block as well, you can find this on Amazon. Really useful, really, really useful. So that's all cut through now by the sounds of it. And uh, yeah, we're definitely cut through. Just make sure we don't lose which terminal is which here. And it's full of, um, 
full of nastiness. So let's just snip that off to give us enough to connect to if we need to. So obviously the ground is the big one. So that's the cap gone. We now need to get this, this lot of nastiness out of there. It's got to go, get out, you nasty thing. Okay. Neat job. That, those razor saws are really good. So how are we going to get this out of here? Let's try the pliers method first. So we'll go we'll, we'll steam in with the pliers, ram them, ram them in. See if we can grab anything and pull. Absolutely no good at all. So it's got to come out. Um, well, to be fair, it feels it feel, feels like there's nothing really holding it in. I wonder if a bit of heat will help it. Let's try heating it up a little bit. getting quite warm now but I don't know if this stuff is um it's waxy or not let's turn that off I think that is moving oh there she goes that wow whoa it's all sort of a sort of bitumen and nastiness inside that okay so this should go back together. I'm fairly confident that'll go back together. I have got some aluminium tape, so um, that will help matters. But yeah, there you go. The innards of one capacitor going in the bin. Yuck. Right. Wet wipes. Bench clear time. Let me catch up with the chat. Let me catch up with the chat because I've been neglecting you again. Corkscrew. I own someone at the door. Bear with me.
Well, there you go. That's some live neighbor for eggs. They're doing burgers and they need to um, need some eggs to bind the burgers together. So um, we've got a shed load, shed load of eggs at the moment. So uh, there you go. We're back in the room, back in the room, back in the room, people. So let me um, just get this bench cleared up and then we'll check back on the um, comments. But, um, let's clear that one out. Let's get rid of all this muck off the bench. It, it looks like wax. It does actually look like wax. I don't know. It's not electrolyte. It's it is like wax, which is very bizarre. There we go. OK, hopefully my metal tape is up there. So let's get this back up on the bench. Let's have a look at my other camera because um, I'm facing the wrong way. There we are. There's our um, cap for filling. So let me just dump um, chat back on the chat. Let's have a look back through. I've, I've missed loads. I've missed loads. Let me, let me catch up with the chat a minute. Let me catch up with the chat a minute. Let me catch up with the chat a minute because I'm, I'm neglecting you guys. <laughs> My God, there's loads of chat here. It's a hot glue. Stuff it, stuff, stuff, stuff. Stuffing, stuffing is definitely the way. Take it off and test it for fun. Can we guess the caps in the can? Too late, Keith, I've done all that. Reverse polarity here. Huh. You bet the original it is high. It's 76, uh, Rob. So it's a bit high, to be fair, for 50. Just made a brew, Benji. Back out of cold water. <laughs> Mrs. Cruncher, I think I can just hear movement out of the back, so she's just woken up. Hot today, Mike View, is it? Cold beer to cool down. Trouble is, you can't have a cold real ale, can you? It's got to be room temperature. Just in, 10%, you reckon, Simon, dear? Just in. Cheers, Benji. 56, this will be fine. Atlantis is looking the dogs, Graham. This is from Mike Atlantis. Radio Caroline sounding superb. What a radio. It's a lovely radio, Mike, and um, you've you done good to get that one, mate. So, uh, good stuff. Resistors in torrents. Yeah, I think we're going to leave the resistor. Not critical, ideal. Okay, so we'll leave that one. I haven't got another one, I don't think, anyway. If I got another one, it would be a 220. It won't be a 200, so. I'm Michael, how are you? Do you also work for the NHS? Very clinical. <laughs> to be fair, I, I, I am like a surgeon at times, Mike. The stuff I do. Dremel. Mike, Racing Demon, how are you doing? Monsieur Hacker, nice. <laughs> We're doing Hacker Radio uh, Record Player even today. Radio Player? What, what's the, where's the goat? Where's the flipping goat? <coughs> yeah, so, so I should think so. Flipping. Fool. Andrew uses razor saucer to do his toenails. <laughs> 
they are brilliant. To be honest, I, I until I heard about Andrew about using razor saws, I never had one, but um, I've actually got two now, and I've got the miter miter box as well, which is absolutely amazing. Let's see if I can get those in the um, camera for you. So yeah, this this is all down to Andrew. To be fair, I blame him hundred percent for uh, the purchases of these. So I've got uh, one that's quite deep. This this is the one I bought first with with the mitre box. The problem is that the mitre box is quite deep, and this particular saw didn't didn't go down deep enough in the mitre box. It it didn't go down to the bottom, if you know what I mean. So there's there's a gap. <laughs> So I had to go and get another saw to get to the bottom of the mitre box. That's why I've got two, because I wouldn't have bothered with two normally. I would have just, just bought the one. But that, that one does go right down to the bottom of the mitre box. And uh, I think the mitre box is a, is a must, to be fair, because um, it's got 45 degree and 90 degree, degree angles. And if you cut little tiny bits of tube in that, it's absolutely perfect. Ideal. Junior Hassel will do it. GNU, it will do it, mate. Watch me fingers. <laughs> Judas saw works well too, yeah. How many gallons in the pool? It's about a thousand litres, Theo. Corkscrew, corkscrew, corkscrew. Mike's well, got ice. Ice beer bottles. Oh my god. Luxury. Corkscrew, corkscrew, corkscrew. <laughs> thunder and lightning, what? It is going to be thunder tomorrow. Hi, Helali, how are you? Helali Jones. Johnny, you sweating? I, to be fair, John, I am. I am a little bit, um, a little bit moist, Johnny. Let's just say that a little bit moist, mate, and welcome. Yes, I did buy the saw from Amazon, um, Harvey. You're waiting a now, waiting an hour, are you? Waiting an hour, right? Okay, let's some let's get to work then because we, we've got to crack on, we can't be. We can't be um, messing about here. We've got to crack on. Let's put that over to one side. Let's get this back up. So what have we got to do here? We've got a ground. We've got to put two to this. So what I'm hoping to do is wire it within this. We don't need that anymore, really. I really don't know what this is. It's pretty nasty. So we've got two two negatives that have got to go together, together. So look in there. Will they fit inside that can? Yeah, they will. Just about. They'll just about fit in there. So two negatives go to that one, one there, one there. Okay. That looks pretty straightforward, doesn't it, really? God only knows what this stuff here is. It's probably, like, highly contagious and all the rest of it. Let's get some... Um... Yuck. Let's get a bit of isopropyl. Clean all this up a bit. And let's just see if any of this takes any solder at all. So let's um, put a blob of um, 
flux on each of these connections a minute. So let's see if any of this takes any, any solder whatsoever. Well, that certainly doesn't. How about this? <laughs> it's not looking good, that doesn't either. With that. Okay, this is not looking good. None of this is taking solder whatsoever. Um, Derek, how you doing? So none of this is taking solder. I mean, like, this is. Let, let's get it a bit hotter. Let's go like. Let's go three ninety. Let's get it a bit hotter. Try it again. I'd be hoping it would take solder at this sort of temperature. Okay, this is not looking good. And when I'm heating this up to 390 now, and I mean, it's not even, it's not even tinning. Um, let me go and get a file a minute and see if I can actually tin, tin that. So you're just going to quickly file away the surface and uh, see if it'll take um, it'll take soda with a fresh bit of metal. I would have thought these would have soldered quite easily, but obviously not. Let's try again then. Oh, I've got, I've got to melt it into my um, workbench here. Okay, let's go with a higher density tip. Let's go with one of my mental tips and we'll get some real heat into the thing. Let's see if we can uh, really uh, get it to solder. Kill or cure your time. Clean this up a bit better in a minute, but um, let's just get rid of some of those um, shavings for a minute. Filings, whatever you call them. It's aluminium, I think, so uh, this is probably why I'm having trouble uh, soldering it. I mean, it might it might turn out that I'm going to have to drill drill through the centre of each of these and um, and uh, push push the wires through the centre of them. If if I can't get it to take solder, then that's that's unfortunately what I'm going to have to do, but you know, we'll try. We will try. So let's put some decent um, flux on. This gel flux is pretty good stuff. It's quite active. So if anything, will, will all that make it tack this well. So we've got a huge, great um, soldering iron bit now that um, will dissipate a lot of heat. 
Let's heat it right up. Jeez. No, it ain't, it just is not, um, maybe slightly, but, um, no, I'm not convinced. Let's try it again. No, it just is not taking to that at all. It, it, it literally isn't taking to it. So that's um that's out unfortunately. Oh well. That is a no go. It's a no go. So nothing is taken to that. It's aluminium. It won't solder. So just bear with me a minute. Okay, sorry about that. I'm going to go, I'm going to go tut loo. So what, what's the th thoughts on this? I, I'm going to have to drill these, aren't I? I'm going to have to drill them and put the leads through through the holes. I don't think there's any other option unless anyone's got any other ideas. Yeah, Doug's, Doug's with me. Drill holes, push the leads through and solder them to the terminals. Yeah, you're dead right. PCPs. I'm going to have to drill it, Nick. You are dead right. Drilling is the way to go. So we're going to have to get the old dumb driller killer out, aren't we? Let's get it done, though, because end of the day... This beauty is going to be playing at Zorba the Greek player. <laughs> Other tunes are available. Right. Bosch. Drill. Sorted. Ah. Let's have a look. One and a half mil. Would that do it? Let's have a look. Yep. Okay. Let's have a look there. Can I drill through the centre? Actually, I might drill back through this way, be easier. 
would be easier. Took some doing. Next. I think Father Christmas is going to need to bring me some sharper drill bits. And the last one. Can't quite see what I'm up to here, can you? The last one. Cool. That seemed a bit of a ball ache, to be fair. Yeah, that seemed a bit of hard work, but uh, I didn't have it on, either on slow speed because uh, I don't want to get too hot, to be fair. Does it melt the plastic? Let's get that out of the way. <sighs> Okay. Get out of the Kango. I don't marry you. Okay. So we know that we've got to get two um two negatives through here. I got a bit of swarf there. So uh, let's have a look. See, we've got two negatives through there. Should go hopefully positive. Let's get rid of these um these tail ends here. Positive, negative, let's go positive, negative. So that's really tight together there. That should hopefully fit in the um, can. Let's see if I can pull these through a bit further.
So let's get a bit of braid and um, just uh, free up those holes. I'm going to have to get another beer going shortly because I feel the need. Okay, well, I've got all the old wires still attached here. Should disconnect them first, really, shouldn't I? Let me just try and cut these old wires off. Just get all the old um, bits of wire out of the out of the existing um, tabs. And hopefully, if. If I can get them out, get out. Let me get me. Uh, let, let me get the old X-ray specs on a minute. Let's have a look. Let's get a bit closer. So I think they're almost out. Yeah, they are. Where's the forceps? Just heat those up again. That's that one done. And the last one. That's a very nasty. Ah, oh, just will not come off. Come on. Let's get my tweezers on it. There's <clears throat> one bit of wire stuck in there. One bit of wire. Got it. It's gone. Right, just clean it off. Okay. 
good. Right. Hopefully, oh, of course, that's all hot. That's all a bit hot now. Hopefully, we can get these through these holes now. That's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. Right. Okay. How are we doing? Keep with it. I can't. Um, I can't do chat at the moment because I'm up to my neck. That's one. One fifty ohm. One negative. Second leg is a bit tight. Two negatives. And the other positive. There we go. Okay. Right. Aluminium foil time. Aluminium foil tape time. Tape time. There we go. Let's uh, just chuck you that down to have a look. Aluminium tape. Great stuff. But on the reel, this is some um, advance. Don't need a massive amount of it. So let's um let's hot snot those together, shall we? Let's do a bit of hot snotting, just get those um really rigid. From my hot glue gun. That's one. Where's the other one? As you can see, the preparation for today has been amazing. Amazing prep. Right, let's get the hot glue gun uh, sorted out. Make sure they don't move around. I, don't, I suppose not. It's majorly critical. So let me uh, catch up with the chat while we're doing that. A minute. We're, we're, while we're waiting for um, for the hot glue gun to get up to temperature. So, uh, you know, blunt drill bit. It is a sharp drill bit, Ninja, but um, just won't go through. Where did I buy mine? Um, I think these were um, from RS um, Harvey. They're 400 volt, 56 microfarad, 105 degrees. They're Rubicon. So good quality caps. So uh, I'm going to hot snot them together. Let me just get um, a paintbrush and just get rid of all the um, iron filings because we don't want any stray capacitance and that floating around in here. Let's wait for this to heat up and then I'll just hot snot the uh, bottom here. I'm, I'm we'll probably hot snot them together as well actually. Hot snot, it's a horrible word isn't it? <laughs> horrible. Let's just zoom out a little bit. There we go. Let's 
So how are we doing? Yeah, we're getting hot. Not hot enough, we've got to wait a bit longer. This is not the best hot glue gun I've ever had, to be fair. The Arrow one is much better, but I can't find that. This is pretty rubbish. This is a Stanley one, 15 watts, and it, it ain't man enough for the job, to be fair. Well, it, it does work, but... The problem is, is I've got a glue stick in there that's not... It's nearly used, but it's not quite, if you know what I mean. So when it gets low on glue sticks, it's a pain in the neck to um, get it to go again. So let's feed a new one in. See if we can get it to go. Oh, now we're, now we're talking, see? So let's just quickly go down through there. Just lick my finger and uh, do that. So I'll just join them together. Uh, lick your finger and touch the hot glue. If you've done it a lot of times, then yeah, okay. But um, be careful because it is red hot this and it will burn your fingers if you don't get it quite right. So I'm going to put another blob down there. Just to hold it uh, to the base. Let's have a look. Do we need to hot glue it inside there? Let's stick a load down in there. Hold that together, see if it goes off a minute. Just wait for that to go off a bit harder. Let's turn the hot glue gun off. So we're waiting for that to go off. We're gonna we're gonna pour another beer. Because you know, it's Sunday and I'd like to have a beer on a Sunday. Harvey, you're going mad. What's going on? A bit of super glue will hold the cans together. I can put a bit of super glue on there as well. It won't hurt, to be fair, um, Doug. Let's put a little tiny bit of super glue on the cans. Make sure I don't stick my fingers to it. So there we go, we've got a bit of super glue on the um, cans as well. So we'll let that go off. And I've got it on my fingers now, so let's get the, um, let's get my um, 
hand wipes. Right, just letting that go off a bit. I've just got some um, stuff to get this glue off my fingers. I don't want to stick to it all, to be fair. Let's get the next beer in. Shepherd Neem, 1698. 6.5%, oh my God. On the Spitfire, Colin, good stuff. Cricklewood, yeah, Cricklewood are good. I just had an order from Cricklewood this week, Harvey, actually. Probably not the best for just old, uh, not the best for normal run-of-the-mill electronics parts, but um, certainly for uh, old transistors, they are the, the dogs. They do keep a lot of old stock of hard to get bits, mate. So well worth going to. Eight percent, Harvey. That's good stuff. It's proper dead and stuff. That is eight percent. Right. Let's get some of these bottles out of the way. So how are we doing? How are we doing? Oh, that is rock, absolutely rock solid, that is. That would probably, to be honest, that would probably do, but I am going to put some of this tape around it. So, uh, let's have a look. Let's cut that off there. So this is just um, aluminium foil tape. It's, um, it's what we used to use for fixing closure plates to fireplaces on awkward surfaces. It's, um, it's really good stuff, well worth picking up some. It, uh, it's got uh, loads of uses apart from this. So I'm still trying not to um, stick my fingers to this. Actually, what I'm going to I'm going to cut this down in in width because I don't need. I only need a small piece of this. I don't want to cover the whole can up. I only need a slither. I'll try and keep the original um, markings. Got glue all over my hands again. So I'm just using my finger now to just um, get rid of all the imperfections in the foil. I say this will um, this will blend very well with the original can. 
I'm not saying you won't see it, but um, certainly unless you're looking for it, you wouldn't notice that. So there you go. That's um, that's the can restuffed with the foil on it. So it's been super glued and hot glued. I've not um, I've not uh, soldered anything yet, but um, there you go. What do you think? You might want to done that, Michael. It's good stuff. I don't know, Mike. I'm not sure, mate. Um, Super Chap should be on. I'm not sure. I really don't know. Um, let me just have a quick look. Let's go to um, let's go to the live stream. Restore chat. Let me just see if I can super chat myself, Mike. Super chat. There might be a problem. Uh, really cruncher, so let's donate myself a pound. And uh, there we go. So let's have a look, see if it'll do it. Security code up, Bliminek. I haven't got me. Have I got my. Hang on, I might have my cards on me. Ending 3328. Let's have a look. Ooh. Three three two eight is it that one? No, I haven't got that card on me. Oh, that's a bummer. It does look like it's working, Mike. Um, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Let me have a little look see, Mike. I don't know why that is that is doing that. Um, I I know Derek just um, donated just now, so I'm not sure. Um. Okay, well, the pay PayPal is still working. I don't know if that'll, that'll work. It, it, it does seem to be still working, Mike. I don't know why. It's obviously some issue with it. Card to client, card to okay, and not out of date. Is there some something wrong with Google Pay? I've popped the um, PayPal link in there, Mike. So uh, you can try that if if you would if if you wanted to donate. That is. Okay. Well, I'm quite happy with that. Got to go and get ready. To <laughs> Cheers, Dom. Thank you, mate. Good man. Let's just pick. I don't know what's going on, Mike. I'm not sure what's going on with that, mate. So apologies if you can't um, if you can't pay with super chat. I don't know. Let's just pop my chat back out again.
So thank you, Dom. What are you doing tomorrow then? What adventures have you got on tomorrow then, Dom? Come on, tell us about it before you go. Yeah, I understand, Dom. Uh, Doug. It might be worth turning everything off. Um, Mike and then turn it all back on again <laughs> that that does tend to work so Doug I understand exactly what you're saying so let's um let's get busy with the fizzy and let's see if we can get a label put on here to say what we've done to the thing if I can find me pens So we put in 256, 2 times 56, four hundred volts. And the date is the date is I'm just uh, putting a, making myself a little label here. Yeah, Ninja, I totally agree with you there, mate. What is the date? <laughs> oh, God, it's a date. It's bloody August, isn't it? Uh, we're going for 8th, 2020. 8th, 20. So, good call that, Doug. Totally agree with you, mate. Because it does stop confusion, doesn't it? So we'll pop that over the top. And that'll um that'll let everybody know that um we've stuck a new cap in it. Two new caps in it. Two fifty-six microfarads at four hundred volts, eighth twenty twenty. So they, sh they should be good for a fair few years yet, shouldn't they? Really pleased with that. That's, um, that's a good job done as far as I'm concerned. Happy with that very much. On me. Ninth of August. <laughs> Cheers, Derek. So that's our cap. I mean, that is that is absolutely rigid. That is as strong as it was originally. So uh, no issues there whatsoever. So you should now be able to get that back in circuit. I've not soldered these on yet because I want to just make sure that I, I push the wires through and solder them all together. So let's, um, let's get a bit of space here. I've, I've gone and um, clogged everything up here again. Nothing new there. You're going up to Bleak Lau Head with amateur radio gear, also to visit the B29 crash site. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, that looks really good. Um, I'm happy with that, Doug, to be fair. That's, um, that's cracking. Right. So let's um, pack that back in again. Let's make sure we've got enough room. So that was the negative. Oh, hang on. Which one was the negative? <laughs> hang on. That was the negative. 
Let, let me just color the, these in a bit better because I'm not overly happy with the color of those. <clears throat> End of the day, I've drilled them through, so um, I just need to make sure that I know that's the negative. And the other two don't really matter. This is one to each side. So I'm going to put the negative in the middle. Hopefully you can all see what the hell's going on here. Let's go uh, that one, picture in picture. Brighter. It's great that I've got you guys on board, really, because um, although I do sort of know what I'm doing, it's always better to have people that are actually uh, have been done this sort of thing in the past, and they really, really know what they're up to. Because I've. I, I wouldn't say I've never worked on valve gear before because I have, but um, I am absolutely a, a beginner in valve radio repair, and uh, I'll, I'll always say that I've got the kit to make sure I'm safe. I know roughly what I'm up to, but um, as I say, I've not. Um, You know, valve stuff is, is way before my time, to be fair. I'm a, I'm a transistor man. And, um, I can say that's how I'm going to stay, but it's, no, it's not. I mean, I'll, I'll happily work on anything really. And I'm really, I'm really, really looking forward to this, being able to play my old 78s and all the rest of it. And uh, this is going to be literally my, my retro, oh, bollocks. Oh, I've just cut the wrong cable. Hang on. You let me get on that quite quick because otherwise I'm going to be in all sorts of trouble. That's the problem with me talking and trying to work at the same time. I lose concentration. So I've just gone and cut the uh, wires coming out of the um, wires coming out of the um, can. I don't know if they're quite caught. Cool. No, they're not. There we go. Thank God for that. Okay. So we've got one wire. Go into that can.
these two. Okay. So, as I say, those old caps were a bit high, to be fair. 75 um, microfarads is a bit high for a 50 ohm cap. So we're going we're gonna to go with, go with um, smaller values. And hopefully that will future-proof it. Okay, so we've now got we've got to put the resistor back across and get this one in. God, this one there's always one in there. There's always one that just does not want to go. Let's cut him a bit longer. Right, where's my resistor gone? Somewhere here, I've got a big a resistor. There he is. What a monster resistor that is. So let's um, clean that one up a bit. And that needs to go back in across those two terminals. That's the first one, so let's um Sort of that in. There's <coughs> another drink of beer after that. Amount of fumes, but that's all those joined together. They get joined together, so just this one here. Forceps, nurse, forceps, where are they? Forceps, where are you? Forceps, there we are. There he is, absolutely bang on, like a bit of flux on that. Let's hit it up quick before it decides to move. Get the big, big solder, let's get the valve radio solder on it. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. My extractor is a bit deep at the moment, so I can't put the extractor on. I should ought, ought to have the extractor on, to be fair. Right. So I think that is... That is the filter cap done. And I'm quite happy with that. 256 microfarad instead of 75 as it was measuring, and it should be 50. Let's make sure we've got nothing else in here. So just let me go over and make sure I've done everything. So I've gone through all, I've gone all through the resistors. I've changed the ones that are out of spec. 
I've changed the high value ones. We've got mustard caps in there, which are perfect. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking good. So I think I've actually cracked it, to be fair. Let me just see if this measures anything across the caps. Mike, you've done it. <laughs> well done, mate. I don't know what went on there, but um, you're in. You're in. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated, Mike, as ever. You are the main man. Right. So we should have somewhere near 56 microfads on this section. Oh, dear, oh dear. I'm trying to sort of get it in the shot, but it's pinging, pinging the connections off as I do that. Will you stay on there? Will you stay on? What? It's measuring 72. No. Oh my God. Something must be loading it up. Well, <laughs> I think it might be that, that resistor loading it up. So we haven't really achieved anything. But um, at least I know that those caps are good for many years to come. Rubicons, 105 degree rated. Record deck, sorted. Right, we're, we're on the um, homeward straight. We're homeward bound. Let me get tidied up and we can... Um, Crack on. Okay, I'm, I'm not on that cam now. Not that yet. Okay. So I've been really busy um, doing all sorts of stuff this week. I've been playing with CB radios. I've actually sorted that power supply out. Can you remember the power supply that um, was absolutely horrendous? It was doing 15 odd volts. Um, really been got at but i've actually fixed that now so that is sorted um probably not enough time today to look at that i have bought myself yet another cb radio for some reason and i do not know why because i got enough as it is you can never know never have too much of a good thing can you so um yes i've gone and bought myself another CB radio. In fact, I've actually bought another two CB radios because I bought another one off Mr. Cody's this morning. So uh, Mr. Cody's is very lucky to pick up one at a boot sale this morning, which is something I've been looking at for a while. So um, that will all um, pan out in a future video, I'm sure. So I'm just trying to get myself a little bit organized here. So I've got enough room to get the um, radio back on the, the, the radio, the record player back on the desk. Where's our man cave anyway? Where's Mr. Man Cave? I think he did say he might be in a bit late today. But um, then I've been on a bit late. So he should be, he should be about to be fair. Right. So where are we? Come on, Graham, sort yourself out. Sort yourself out. Okay, so let me have a let me have a think about this. Are we are we good? Are we good? Are we good to go now? So we've got our filter cap back in, and to be fair, that is looking absolutely bang on. I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. You can sort of see that it's not quite original, but it is very original looking. Um, nothing to do there. I've got two C, two ECL 86s. We know this works because it's been tried before. Um, all the caps down here have been done. Resistors done. Everything's done. So that was the only thing I was waiting on was those caps in that can, and that, now that is done.
So it's time to put it back together. It is time. There's no getting over it, Graham. You've got to bite the bullet and get it back together. Fire in the hole. Right, let's pop that out of the way for a second. Let's get the um, drill out of the way. It's done. It's turned out really well, actually. I'm pleased with that. Oh. I too, it's a lot lighter without the um, the bits in it. <laughs> Bit of valve action, Mike. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Come on, zoom out. I'll tell you what, it's, it's it is a bit big. This this thing. It is a bit big, right? Let's turn that out, round out the way. Because this particular soldering iron just loves to love the camera. It's it's too big for the bench. This to be fair, my bench is not made for this. But you know, we've got to do it. It's got to be done. Right, let's get all the screws and everything out of here. There's all sorts of screws and bits and pieces. Which is good because God, it does smell of old record player, <laughs> old radio. Let's get all the bits out of here. Oh, I am so looking forward to firing this up in a minute. <laughs> I'm sure you're all um, waiting on bated breath for this to be back up and running. Just making sure I've got no um, screws. There's lots of, um, I don't know if you can see all of this aluminium in here, but you probably can't. But um, if I pop the overhead camera in, you will do. There's so much aluminium foil inside this thing. It's like, um, see all the aluminium foil inside that? Hi, Andrew, how are you? You know you're ready for some sorba. Let's go. Oh, we've got to have a bit of sorba. Come on. Come on, please, YouTube. YouTube. Please give us sorba. Let us play sorba. So there's a lot of um there's a lot of screening inside this. This is a real beauty, but um there's things I still things I've got to do to it. It's, it's not not perfect at the moment, but it will be. But I want to get it functional. That's that's the main plan for today, really. So you've got a little bit of um, got a little bit of um, aluminium missing. So we we can put some more in there, can't we? Because we've got our tape. And this is um, <clears throat> this is the beauty of this aluminium tape. You can just pop it in. That's all they've used. Let's get my scissors. So we've got a bit of tape missing up here, look, as you can see. So whether that's ripped off and it's on the... I don't know, we've got a bit missing there as well. Let's so just um, pop a bit in there. As I say, I, this was, this was um, procured as part of my job as a gas engineer and uh, we used to use this for awkward closure plate fixtures on the back of gas fires so i'm sure if you search google you'll find it but um i'm just gonna put a little bit down over there because to be fair there's no way that hacker would have put that tape in 
There's no way they would have bothered with all of that if, if, there, was, if there was no point. Because at the end of the day, they were perfectionists. And I'd like to think that I am very similar. I'm also a bit of a perfectionist. As I'm sure you, if, if you followed this channel for, for a number of years, you will know, you'll know that anyway. I really enjoy what I do, and I do take a lot of care and pride over what I'm doing. So if you send me a radio for repair, you know it's going to be done properly. If you ain't happy with it, you know it can come back. No issues. Okay, so let's just pop a little bit over there as well. Look at that. That is absolutely like new. I'm chuffed with that. So that is, that is well worth picking up some of that, people. Um, I don't know if it's what, what it's called. This is Advance Tapes Leicester in England. I don't know model number. I don't know part numbers, nothing like that. But um, it's aluminium sticky tape and it's the dogs. Well worth getting some. Does it have a ceramic cartridge? Let me see, Mike, because um, in the um, service info that Paul sent through, very kindly, if I can find it, It's got the Garrod 2025. He's even sent me the Garrod man, you look. <laughs> Paul, you're a man. You, you, you're the main man, Paul. For service manuals, Paul is the business. I don't know where he's got all these from, but um, there we go. I think it is ceramic, to be fair. So there's 2025 TC. I have to flip this. So let's um, pop you on my screen. So the model in this deck is the 2025 TC, this one. The deck in this radio, 2025 TC. And I would just, I will double check that in a second, but I'm pretty sure it's a TC. This is great stuff, Paul. Where do you find this stuff? Where does he find this stuff, people? Uh, it should tell us what the um, spec is on it. Let's just uh, go to the spec, pick up wiring, cartridge. Maintenance. grease cam surface there that I, I'm pretty sure I've, I've gone through this and, and done the whole deck to be fair but um, if it doesn't work this is brilliant Paul this is ab I've seen it I've not seen until today I've not seen this to be fair I'm just gonna have a look at the cartridge <laughs> it will it will eventually come through look at that brilliant manual Paul Spare parts. Different pulleys. No, hang on then. Hang on. Let 
me just have a quick look. Yeah. A what? No. Mrs. Crunch is asking me if I've finished. What? It's tea ready, is it? Hmm. Ah. Smells, something smells ready to be fair. Hang on, let me just see what Mrs. Crunch is saying. Right, that's Mrs. Cruncher calling me. Summonsed. I did say probably about half past. What was it? Half past three. Half past seven. And no, no, we're still still well in time. So where am I? Where am I? I'm sure it said in here what the cottages were. So it's a ACOS GP nine ninety six stroke one turnover stars LP stereo frequency response. That is that is it, um, Mike. That is the boy. What's that smell? <laughs> right, okay, let me, let me, catch, I'm, I'm way behind with the chat a minute. I'm way behind with the chat, so be, bear with me. You got some plates ready. Andrew's got plates ready for Zorba. Shame you lost your Cobra 148 GTL DX. My uncle threw it in the bin, all working too. I do, I do have a, a 148 GTL DX here, Harvey. I do have one here. I, God only knows where I got it from, but I do have one. So we will have a look. It's not something I'm going to keep. So if you want one, Harvey, you have to message me, mate. You're allowed 10 seconds, Mike. Trust me, 10 seconds, not a chance. More like two seconds, mate, and you'll get a hit for it. I, I don't know. Is it ceramic? I'm not sure, Mike. You'll have to look at that model number, mate. It is expensive for the good stuff, but it's worth picking up, mate. I'm just catching up with the chat, people. Paul is the main man. Paul has done me good on this again, yet again. He really does know where to get these manuals. Who knows? Dinner's in the dog. What's that smell? It's Mrs. Cruncher cooking in the hot tub, Mike. It's Mrs. Cruncher cooking in the hot tub. That's what the smell is. You need to speak to Paul then, Harvey. Paul is the man.
Right, let's get this let's get this um, beauty back together. Let's get this back together. So I'm a little bit lost as to what goes where, to be fair, because it, it's been over a year before or since I've um, pulled this apart. So it's been well over a year. But it is a very well made bit of kit. So it can't be that difficult, can it? It cannot be that difficult. Cannot be that difficult. He says. down quick to start with before we uh, lose where we are. Zorba's coming people. Stay tuned for Zorba. <laughs> I don't know what, what is it with Zorba? How, how did that happen? How did Zorba ever, how did Zorba come I mean, you, a lot of you have been watching this channel for many, many years. So you should be able to tell me how on earth we got into Zorba. Uh, what have I done with those two um, washers that got there? How did we get into Zorba from this? How do we progress into Zorba? What significance is Zorba? But it is, it is sort of almost, um, almost something that you um, associate with, with my YouTube channel, isn't it, for some reason? Now, what have I done with those blimmin' screws? Hang on. Let me just have a look. Is there any, any nuts knocking about on the desk no Ugh. well there was, there was there was nuts in there to start with but it appears that i've lost a nut already which is not good news i have a nut and a washer missing straight away We're all geeks. Zorba the geek. <laughs> nice one, Mike Atlantis. I seem to have mislaid a nut and a washer. So I'm going to have to find another nut and a washer. Dear, oh dear. It's weird, isn't it? Stuff just literally does disappear in front of your eyes when you're doing this sort of stuff. I can't believe it half the time. So we need a brass washer. 
you have there. Luckily, I do have lots of spares and bits and pieces. Will that fit over there? No, it won't. That one certainly will. that done deoxet we need to do the um, switch cleaner I don't know if I did this or not but um, I'm going to now we're going with the deoxet the, the expensive stuff we're going with the full full on full price gear no expense spared on this And the last one, there we go, done. Okay, that's the tone board. So let's just get that jammed back in there. I think it goes up a little bit, there we are. And I think that's that massive, great, um, Up there that holds that in. Yeah. That's going to be probably that one. I don't know. There's so many screws for this, I don't know which one goes where, to be fair, but I get the idea. nice to me no it's not that screw so it's going to be the bigger screw okay As I say, this is over a year ago that I took this to pub part, so it's very much um, guesswork to get it all back together. Well, guesswork, educated guesswork, shall we say. Make sure I don't get the wrong screw in, otherwise it'll poke through the rec scene at the top. So make sure I don't poke through the rec scene. No, there we go. That's it, that's the tone board in. Excellent. Right. That's all I see in there. So I've got this is sort of RF shield here, which I'm not sure where that goes. Um, I'm not sure. Bear with me. I'm going to have to go and get the uh, other one. Bear with me.
Okay, well I've got to I've got to find the record deck. What did I do with the record deck? It was there. So I must have brought it in here. Oh yeah, okay, the record deck's there. Okay, right, fair enough. Zorba. Ha! Is is it is it Junior a Sweden Graham? No, that's good. Check the goats droppers him out of Scotland down. Alpha Lino Lina Kilo Sierra. Ha. Oh, cheers, Derek. Catch you later, mate. Cheers, Derek. Catch you later, mate. Sorry, can't stay on. So I'm just um, rewiring this now. Um, I think that was one of those. I'm, I'm, it's, it's coming back together, people. It is going back together. And we are going to get it back together. We are going, going to get it back together. So that's some. Um, I've got the shorts on today, look. <laughs> Woohoo! Shorts time. It's blimmin' too hot for trousers, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that, that's way too hot for trousers. Okay, right. So that's the there. Just bear with me when I get this wired back in. Those that I can remember. I don't know where that shield goes though. Do you not know where that shield goes? So I may have to replay the video. I don't know where that shield goes. Does that go? It's obviously screwed in. Oh, hang on. Do it. Does it go? Oh, there. No. Okay, it goes there for some bizarre reason. I don't know why it goes there, but it does go over there. So we must have two self-tappers for the... ...rubbish shield. Why even bother with that? I don't, I do not know. There's basically a shield here that goes in front of the um, tone controls. It doesn't really seem to do any, anything apart from possibly short them all out. It ought to go that way around, really. Yeah, probably that way around. Unless it's two self tappers, but. Um, <sighs> Nothing's really self tappers here. I've got uh, those go in. I've got the, the three screw or two screws that hold that in. It's going to be those. It's got to be them too. Again, more screws loose. So we've got this piece that's got to go in. This goes in behind. Let's get the brush and brush that out. You don't want to put loads of um, human flesh and skin flakes and all the rest of it back in our nice restored record deck. <coughs> okay, so that basically goes in like that, I think. Does it go like that? No, it goes in that way round like that. And it's got um, two screws in there. And then th one, two. Hmm. We have got some screws loose, people, so I'm gonna have to improvise here. I've got I have got the screws <laughs> somewhere. 
somewhere I will have these screws, but we're going to just put some fresh brand new ones in for now. I'm going to get some fresh brand new ones in for now. End of the day, new screws are better than old screws, aren't they? What are these? These look like Posi Drive number twos. And yes, they are. So let's go in with Posi Drive number two in the ridiculously not needed heat shield. Are you looking forward to Zorba? I'm looking forward to a bit of Zorba, to be fair. I am looking forward to a bit of Zorba. Let's get in a bit closer. You can only see my guts. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a bit of Zorba, to be fair. I've had a bit of Zorba for a while. I think we, 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 we've been lacking in Zorba for quite some time now. Although they ban my videos worldwide every time I play it, it's good fun, isn't it? <laughs> Okay. So sadly, you can't see what I'm doing here. I mean, it's no point in me really getting the overhead camera in because you, you get the gist. I'm literally just putting a screw and a heat shield in front of the tone controls with self tapping screws. Nice new ones at that because I can't find the old ones. Well, I might be able to find the old ones, but. Um, New ones rule. As I say, been over a year. Right, heat shield in. Let's get this plate in next. The baffle. I call it a baffle. It seems to go that way in. It seems to go that way round. So we've got lots of um, cup screws now. We've got um, uh, we got one, two, three, four cup screws. That'll be one, two, three, four. We need five. Which is typical. We've got four. So this must just be these screws here. I think some this has been messed with to be fair. I mean <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing my best here, people. Hi Steve, 7931, how are you doing? Third day running at 36 degrees. Oh Christ, that's hot. See, those screws just ain't man enough, really. Yeah, they're okay, it's original, but they ain't good enough. We need bigger screws, really. Right, that's that, that, that. That goes in there. That's in there. Oh, I found I found my missing missing brass screw, brass nut. Now, hang on. What is this for? Hang on. I found another another loose. Tab. <sighs> so 
something's come amiss. What's that come off of that? Well, that's an earth of the speaker. And it looks like that goes to the. down there. I've got an earth come off. Let me just have a look. It's earth to the speaker. Well, it's got a separate ground. Okay, right. Back in business again. We're getting there. I've got to go and find Zorba yet. Can we can we play Zorba the Greek? Can we get away with playing Zorba the Greek? Can we just give it a quick go? These screws are nowhere near big enough, so I'm not sure what the hell is going on there. I could push them with my fingers. There's no way they're the right screws for there. So it looks like we've got some screws loose for this. Um, everything's. Oh, hang on. Okay, so we've got our deck connections there. So that's for our deck to connect to. Everything else is good, right, okay. So I need to just uh, dust off the old deck. Dust off the deck. I really have lost my paintbrush. So I did, um, I did service this deck. You did see me service this deck last time that we done this. It's just, it's just got a bit dusty because it's been out, out of the rate, out of the, um, what am I trying to say? It's been out of the um, record player. I did clean the platter as well. It's been serviced. Oh, it really is dusty. Dear, oh dear. It really is dusty. So I'm just dusting this. So it's a Garrard 2025TC. Seems to get the old dump spray air duster on it because it is minging. Okay, right, let's get the deck in. Deck going in.
So let's say I have services deck. So we've got that one there. Where does that go? It's got to go there. In that orientation, I would assume. We've got two cables. Not sure what way around these go. the orientation of those <coughs> cables I think that's right okay I'll tell you what the stupid screws there that's definitely all the right screws for those <laughs> they are not the right screws so we need bigger screws. We need bigger screws, people. These are not man enough. They should go into the bits of wood and they're about a quarter of an inch too short. So either they've stripped the threads from a what from many years gone by. Or I've just lost the screws. More likely I've lost the screws. So let's find some more. So we just need some wood screws. That'll do. It's one very nice. Let's see if we can find a matching one. Can we find a matching one? Absolutely no hope on the planet, is it? It's all very well keeping these old surplus screws, but... When you need two, you can only ever find one. Okay. Still searching. What's that one there? Look, oh Christ, that's massive. No, that's too big. So big. They might do it. Let's have a look. What are they? Phillips. Let's go Phillips. They'll hold it for a bit anyway. Ideally, it wants proper wood screws. These are just self tappers, but they will they will hold it in place. Yeah. Fight with this thing. Ugh. Come on. So the cable's got to go in a little tiny groove. Ugh. Get off. Flipping it as tight. As the actress said to the bishop. There we go. Ugh. 
What the? Is this the right deck? God for that. We're in. We're in. Don't panic, people. Don't panic. We're in. We are in. We are in. We are in. Right. Cup screws. With cup washers and screws. So we haven't got enough of these either. They look like Posi Drive. Posi Drive number twos. No. Posi Drive number ones. Yes, okay. Let's hope to God this thing works after all this effort. I've just dropped a cup screw on the floor. And I found it. Okay. So I, th I, th I believe this had no screws in it before. Yeah, it didn't. Because I think there was absolutely no screws in this before. So probably these screws that I'm trying to screw in here now for the cup screws are the wrong ones. Because I don't think this had any screws before, but I have got the cup screws for some reason. Okay, let's stop assing around. Let's stop messing about. Let's get some. Let's get some um, record situation going here. Okay, let's just try the normal one to start with. That's not going going well, is it? Let me get some records. Bear with me. Let's plug it in. Let's plug it in. Ah, we haven't even got a plug on the end of it. Graham, come on, sort yourself out. Where's my quick test thing? Where is the quick test? Where is the quick test? Where is the quick test? Where are you? Mr. Quick Test. Where have you gone? a quick test dear oh dear what is going on today i can't find nothing right 234 volts Houston, we have left off. The deck turns. Right, record time. Let me go and get something. We need to release the transit screws that I've screwed down diligently.
No, we've got 33, 45, or 78. Let's try 45 first. I've, I've got, um, I've just gone down and literally grabbed some. The cliff. Let's go with the B side, Cliff Richard. You love a bit of cliff. Are you ready for a bit of cliff, people? Here we go. So I'm just going to um, do this manually for a minute. So what have we got here? We've got um, Frank Cordell and his orchestra. We've got Jimmy Shand and his band. Jimmy Shand and his band. Perry Como. Oh, 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 we've got to try a bit of Perry Como. Come on, Perry. We love Perry. Home for the holidays. Or Tina Marie. Let's try Tina Marie. Perry Como. 78 oh my god this is absolutely ancient what age is this let's, let's go to 78 into manual this looks a bit overplayed this this record to be fair keep the arm up i've done that oh, johnny yeah all good. Hang on. No, I've got to, I think I've got to flip the stylus the other way around. There we go. Oh, that's LP. Oh, hang on. That's, <laughs> I was in 78 playing the, playing the LPs. Oopsie. of ancient Perry Como. Let's just um, have a look at the other side. I don't know which side's the A side and which is the B side because I don't know. These are very, very old records that I picked up at auctions. I don't know what the date on them is. It's got to be 1950s. They've not been cleaned or anything, so apologies if they sound like trash, but um, there you go. Let's try the other side. And there is, I've got some good ones. The, the, it's very difficult to pick up pop, like pop and rock and roll um, 78s from the 50s. They're very few and far between. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't stand it. Sorry, Perry. I can't, can't be doing with you. Perry, sorry. You've got to come off. Why have I kept these? I, t I tend to keep the pop, uh, pop and sort of like well-known makes, well-known artists. And I try and ditch the, um, oh, what do you call it? The um, orchestral ones, the like Sh Tchaikovsky and Chopin and all that. Okay, so we've got um, we've got a bit of bit of Belafonte here. Look. I like a bit of Belafonte. We have got Danny Boy. 
But we've got Little Bernadette, and I don't, again, I don't know which is the A side and which is the B side. God, God knows. I don't know. Let's go Danny Boy. Is it actually Danny Boy? I don't know. Let's hope we don't get any, any copyright hits. But end of the day, I'm only playing a little tiny bit of them. You collect them, Harvey, do you? I tend to pick them up if I see them, Harvey, to be fair. And if it's a, a known artist, then I will, I will pick it up. <laughs> I don't mind a bit of Danny Boy, to be fair. You know, it's not Daniel O'Donnell. It's not Daniel O'Donnell, no, but it's um, a bit of Harry Belafonte. Let's see what's on the other side. Is it ha Harry Belafonte? Henry Belafonte? I can't remember now. So it was on the other side. Is it Mary's boy child? I'm thinking, aren't I? Whenever you're crying, Theo. <laughs> People would listen to this stuff back in the 1950s, and although it might not be to our taste today, it's um, it is a part of history, isn't it? And um, I'm all up and with it for that. So what we've we got here, we've got um, a bit of Irish Irish Mambo. Oh yeah, this is Alma Cougnan. And what's on the other side? Dreamboat. Oh, let's let's go Dreamboat. Let's go Dreamboat. It's got to be Dreamboat, isn't it? And we'll, we'll try our Irish Mambo after. So another successful um, repair by the looks of it. Scratchy. I say, to be fair, it was working before. It was working before, but um, like I said, I, I just had that one cap that I, that I hadn't done and I, I wasn't happy to wrap it up until I'd done that one. So let's try a bit of Irish Mambo. A bit of Irish Mambo for you all. I know it's, it's what you've been waiting for. Bob's Bob's saying he needs a lot of beer to listen to that. I know, Bob. But yeah, you got you got to respect the age of the record player and the records that's being played on it because, I mean, what I can't remember what I said the age of this was now. But um, I've got a bit of noise from the amplifier. I don't know if that's a noisy pot though. Was picking up, it's picking up interference from something. So, how about um, I've got a bit of mudlarks, I've got mudlarks, I've got Lonnie Donegan, I've got the Everly Brothers, I've got Paul Anka, Jimmy Parkinson, Frank Cordell and his orchestra, and Jimmy Shand and his band. So, come on. Let's 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 have what, what do we want next? So we've got Jimmy Shand and his band. We've got Frank Cordell and his orchestra. We've got Jimmy Parkinson with Ray Martin and his orchestra. The Great Pretender. Oh yes. Paul Anka. I do like a bit of Paul Anka to be honest. Tell me that you love me and I love you, baby. We've got the Everly Brothers. Brilliant Everly Brothers. Oh, my God. 
I don't think that's a well-known one either. Should we tell him and this little girl of mine? We've got Lonnie Donegan. Bring a little water. Sylvie. Dead or alive. And um, the mudlarks. Young doves calling. Or lo lollipop. Lollipop. Come on. So, what, what's the, what's the favourite here? We've got some um, Everly Brothers for Gary, Lonnie for Theo, Dave Rhodes, Afternoon Dave, loves Jimmy Shand. Have we got any Matt Novani, Matt Mantovani? Yes, I have, Brat. Get some Skiffle on, Everly Pregnant Brothers, <laughs> Lonnie or Paul Anka. Jimmy Shand, let me see. I, I do like a bit of Paul. Let's let's chuck a bit of Paul Anchor on, shall we? Let's find it. Where's, where's Paul gone to? Let's ch let's chuck a bit of Paul on for a minute. And um, again, I'm only going to be able to play a little tiny bit of this, people, because. Um, we are just testing this, aren't we? Again, I don't know which is the A side and which is the B side. So we've got Paul Anker coming on for those that wanted Paul Anker. I've got a bit of noise in this still. I don't know why. Skiffle. So Skiffle, it's Lonnie Donegan Skiffle, right? I got, I got a copyright hit for Matt Navani, actually. <laughs> Matt, Matt, Matt or whatever you call him. As I walk by the seaside, as I walk through the grass. That is good stuff. So end of the day, for YouTube's benefit, we are just demonstrating this record player by playing records through it, which is, I think, fair usage. And um, if we get a hit, that's what I should be um, be claiming. So there we go. So let's try the other side, which is the A side. This is what you would be listening to on this record deck. So um, let me chuck a couple more 78s in and then I'll go and get something. Um, I'll go and do some requests. So if, if I've got what you want, then I'll, I'll pick it out and uh, you can hear it. If I haven't, then you have to put up with um, what I've got. So let's go. Uh, we've got to go with we've got to go with the lollipop by the mudlocks. Come on. <laughs> Bob, Bob, there's no swearing, mate, on this channel. There's no swearing, so I'm going to have to hide you, unfortunately, because my moderators are, are asleep, obviously. But, um, yeah, I understand what you're saying, Bob. <laughs> this might be a... recognizable tune that so we'll go with everly brothers and then i'll go down and delve deeper and see what else i can find a bit of doo-wop we would go everly brothers and i'm not sure which is the, again which is the a side and which is the b on this one this little girl of mine and should we tell him it just in it, it doesn't say on these old records which is the a and the b side I'm going to put this little girl on mine and we'll have a look at the B side. You, you'll be able to tell this is the Everly Brothers. It's, it literally is classic Everly Brothers. The, the amp is popping and cracking there for some reason. So, so I've got a dodgy connection by the sounds of it. It's 
sounds like we've got some John Denver fans in the building. And to be fair, I am a big John Denver fan. And I do have quite a lot of John Denver records. So I will be getting those shortly. I've got this. Can you hear that? There's a lot of like, popping and crackling when, when nothing's on. And I think that's dodgy connections, to be fair. That's not some... Um, that's nothing to do with the circuitry. I just think I need to go and remake some of the connections. So let's try the B side of the Everly Brothers. It's lovely to play them though, Bob. I, I know what you're saying. There's, there's YouTube channels that just do playing of old records and that's not that's not my channel to be fair but i do love i do love my records i love my vinyl my shellacs and um you know occasionally i share it with you guys so um let's chuck on the great pretender by jimmy parkinson and then i'll go down and get something um something more modern i'll get some um not got any um, 33s here, no LPs as such. So go and get you some LPs. Go and get a bit of John Denver. I might get a bit of. Um... Can you hear that? So uh, yeah, it needs a bit of work still. I think it's, I'm not. I'm not out of the um, trees with this one yet. But um... here we go. <laughs> I hear you, Bob. Valve seats. Yeah, I haven't. To be, to be fair, I haven't um, reseated the valves. I haven't um, sprayed them and gone through them with the tough, the tough um, interdental things. So let me play this through here, and I'll go down and get some more records for you to have, have a listen to. We'll get a bit of John Denver. If I if I can find it, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and get some a bit of carpenters. I think I'm, I'm feeling a bit of carpenters at the moment. I'll be back. I need to leave this here though. So we're at 33 RPM. So this is Carpenters now, and um, I mean Carpenters is very recognisable in it, hopefully you'll uh, all, uh, so go with LP now. Carpenter's song originally? I don't think so. Uh, is, is that a, a repro? But certainly, if, if I pop to the other side, there is some. Um... Oh, hang on. Yeah, there's there's a couple real um, real classic Carpenter songs on this one. It's got some welly people. That's enough of that. We're only demoing the record deck, aren't we? Come on. We're demoing. We're demoing. But, um, yeah. It's easy top. It's easy top. Come on, you wouldn't... No, come on. ZZ top weren't even about when this record deck was made. Come on. We've got to be looking at 60s, really, haven't we? We've got to be looking at 60s, maybe a bit of 70s, you never know. But um, someone someone um, asked for John Denver 
and I think it was Brett, but he's he's gone and he's gone and disappeared now, which is a bit of a shame. But I do like a bit of John, so I'm gonna chuck a bit of John Denver on next for you. <clears throat> and I've got John Denver Poems, Prayers and Promises. Vinyl it says HMV shops two pen thirty back in the day. And what what's the uh, this is 1971 so uh, yeah a little bit um again i haven't uh, i haven't cleaned this one it's not cleaned at all so what, what are we going to do let's um just play that side to start with and then we're going we're going for um country roads now we've, 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 we'll have a grand finale with country roads Spend a night or two all on my own. I've no, I don't think so. Let's go with them. Um, this this really this, this record is really horrible. I, I haven't cleaned this one at all. I really haven't cleaned this, which is bad. But you know, I've not cleaned the stylus. Oh, it's, it's all it's all bad but it's working it's working so some of you may not have heard of Billy Connolly from abroad but to be fair he is um and I may I may have to um What's the word? Censor this now. This is Billy Connolly, who's a comedian, a Scottish comedian, Atlantic Bridge. So I don't know anybody that's got this, but um, Billy Connolly is very, very funny. Lovely, lovely um, comedian. Married to Paula Anderson. I'll say no more. This has been clean, so it should play right. I don't know which is the A side. Why don't, why don't they just put A and B side? Side one, stars on Sunday. Okay, that's side one. So, Again, I, 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 well, this might not get a copyright because it's um, it's not music as such. But you might enjoy this. If you've got a sense of humour, you will. All right, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Connolly. Hello, Donna Fermalino. And welcome to this year. I've got a few songs, a few stories for you. And it's nice to be back in good family and feel live. <laughs> See, it's lovely to be here. <laughs> right. I've got my finger stuck in my leotard. <laughs> Don't give me any pockets. I'll tell you another thing. When I first got this leotard, I couldn't work out how you get into it. You go in through the neck, it's the most weird experience. They're putting your trousers on over your head, you know? So... <laughs> Aye. So, here we go. I have some new material, I have some old material. And uh, some stolen material. <laughs> No, this is a song about spies. True. It's about the Orient Express. That's that train you used to read about. It's a load of rubbish. It's all jammed with spies. There's no room for passengers at all, you know. They just sit looking at each other. Wonder where he is. Oh, Wonder if his bow ties are tape recorded. Mm. 
No guy he's fiddling about in his poker. I hope that's a okay. <laughs> right, so It's a very fast moving high energy song. It's a very dirty song, incidentally. Cover the cover the wind's ears. Oopsie. It was on the Orient Express. Sat a maiden, young and fair. And a guy, I mean, and a guy. <laughs> oh, you want to get a grip for you, do you think? Oh, what do you think? They're not dressing them honest. It was tea, liar. <laughs> Start again. Just to show you can do it right. I had to come out at half time to have a look at this hall. At the, end, at the end of the last show this evening, I was going, thank you very much, good night, and good night. There's nobody there. <laughs> They're saying this. These entertainers, they take drugs. They can see people all up there. And they wear the hearing takes drugs. Wait a minute, I get in my position again. <laughs> Do you ever see that at the gang show when they're all lined up to sing? Them? <laughs> the wee shiny faces. I'll tell you, talking about shiny, I was in Leeds last week and nobody asked me to be on Stars on Sunday. I was disgusted. <laughs> Man, or star or something? Huh? The feeling gets stuck with lightning, that's what's up with them. One of these bills are he. <laughs> They're safe for Frank Highfield, eh? Oh, what? He's something else, isn't he? I remember you! He just as well, I'd nearly forgotten you. <laughs> He's like a Butlin's red coat, isn't he? These happy Australians, they're really getting my tip. Hello! I'm Australian and I like meeting people! Who cares it? Right, better get back on the subject again. What are we saying? I these. I love stars on Sunday. I'm sure, you know, they're sitting on a couch like that. Wilfred Pickles and his wife. But, but I've seen the hand coming over the back of the couch and up the jumper like that. Really, they've been deep for about 15 years, they too. You see the strings going up. I'd like to read the letter from... And then they said they'd bring on a Welsh choir. Right, there's about 300 shiny faces. All these white collars, these shiny faces. The blazers. The conductor, you think you're going to get a, a, a Welsh song or something, and you to make her call, I don't care. To make her call, what the hell's that all about? Come on, let's go on. Come on, girl, I love you. They're the same, the show's done in a cheap. It's a mirror, there's only one guy and it's a lot of hell. It's true. I would never dream of opening my mouth that way, would you? I'd have feel the top of my head would fudge in the back. <laughs> blaster Bates is very good. I've heard some Blaster Bates stuff. I, I do like Billy Connolly, to be fair. OK, well, it all got, uh, it all got a bit messy from, from here on in. Um, as I say, uh, I played loads, loads of singles and that, and uh, it just went on and on forever. And... Uh, I got slowly, uh, slowly more ineb inebriated. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there. But um, thanks everyone for joining me. I'll say I've I've edited this clip now, and uh, I have I have left some um, some audio in there. So hopefully it'll uh, it'll evade the copyright police, and um, you'll be able to watch the video. So thanks for joining me, and um, catch you again next week. Bye for now. Thank you.